For nearly a month, the signs have been up. Nobody, not even a bike or pedestrian, was allowed to cross the Tolt Hill Road Bridge. The bridge opened just nine years ago, designed to last 75 years. But the county says they recently found a problem, something lost in translation between the original calculations that designed the bridge and what was actually on the blueprints to build it. Every bridge is unique. You've got a different distance, you've got a different width, you've got a different number of lanes. Brenda Bauer is the chief of the county's road services division, and she goes over the report just completed that allows the bridge to be reopened. We had an outside consultant who did an incredible number of calculations and looked very much in detail at the key connections that were at risk and um, what margins of safety we had and came to the conclusion that yes, indeed we could reopen the bridge to some limited traffic that weighs less than six tons. Frustrated residents had the detour through Fall City or up and around Carnation Farms for miles to get to town even though many who live on Tolt Hill actually have a Carnation mailing address. The reopening comes with restrictions, nothing weighing over six tons. Cars okay, even privately owned pickup trucks, but commercial pickups are being barred, even fire trucks. We are still in the process of figuring out how to repair a fully loaded bridge. Which means there will be more closures in the future, but a future that will lead to a fully functional bridge once again. In Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.